welcome. Hi guys, welcome to ZG Book It and Read. So, sorry, I say ZG. I had someone complain about it the other day. It's ZJ. ZJ Book It and Read. Just, I think it's my accent that kind of goes the whole ZG Book It and Read. It's ZJ. As you can get, you know, whatever. Anyway, hi. <laughs> okay, so be mindful. This review that I'm going to give out today, there are definitely going to be spoilers. So, read now. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing the final book in the Guild Hunter series, book 12, Archangel's War. Okay, so this book is a lot bigger than the rest. It has a good read score currently of 4.6 out of 5. Okay, all right. So this book basically wraps everything up, or wraps pretty much the majority of Elena and Raphael's story. So to recap, Nearly every single one of the seven have kind of got together with someone. Um, and obviously the women have kind of helped here and there. We've had, basically, they're in the middle of a cascade. So it basically just wants pure chaos and everything like that. Li Juan has become a bit freaky. She's the Archangel of China. She wants to make herself into a bit of a goddess because she's a B-I-T-C-H. Yeah, anyway, so. Basically, um, in the last book, Li Zhuang kind of disappeared, um, and then basically Elena started de-evolving, or sort of, kind of becoming a bit different, okay? And Ra Raphael was absolutely freaking out because he didn't want to lose her, um, and basically he tore out his heart, he put it, at least broke it in half, put it into her, and wrapped her heart in his and put it back in his chest. Anyway, so this picks up from that. This book, basically, um, obviously, Elena has lost her wings, as she did in the other one. So in this one, um, basically, it starts off from where they left it. Um, and this, this is a little bit different because it gives um, points of view from the Legion um, and from other archangels, which is really interesting. Um, and we also have, plus a twist, a three additional ancients popping up. I'm not going to tell you who they are. I'm just going to let you kind of read that, you know. Um, but basically, yet again, carrying on with Raphael and Elena's story, um, it goes on and basically he releases his power out to stop her transformation so he doesn't lose the woman he loves. Um, and basically it ends up going that... She ends up, instead of being like a newborn angel, she's like a 300 year old angel. Um, and instead of having proper wings, she has like these special like um, energy wings, um, at least in the beginning part of the book. Um, like, And she basically doesn't discover those until she tries to save someone and uh, she saves a child. And obviously Raphael wants to save her. <laughs> so, and it just is all very complicated story. Um, but as it kind of goes on, um, it turns out Shazanon, I don't think I'm ever going to say his name right, um, he basically is working with Li Juan. He was doing it behind the other Archangel's back. Luckily, obviously, spoiler, he does die. Thank for that. <laughs> so sorry if I'm swearing, but I'm just passionate about the book. I can't help it. So, um, so he dies by Titus's hand. Yes, Titus! Uh, <laughs> and it just kind of goes on from there really um, you get Cassandra they are, uh, she's another ancient um, you, learn a little, you learn some interesting things about Cassandra especially since um, in the other books you probably might have heard of the uh, ancient Quinn um, you learn that those two kind of got together another spoiler for you yeah so because especially with one of her um, one of her sections was my Quinn and I was like God, and you can tell by reading it and everything how much he loves her, and he didn't want to be in this world without her. And she was like, I can't. She goes, You know, I would stay, but I can't. I'll go mad. But and she goes, But maybe in a thousand years. And Quinn was like, oh, I don't want to go without her. But he needs to, he understood his duty as an archangel. So it's like, oh, Made me sad. Anyway, so great book really well written um you also find out who Ilium's father is i know none of us could i know everyone speculated about who it was um and it was just like 
Oh my god! <laughs> we find out who the ancient is. <gasps> awesome stuff. Um, and also to see the coming back of the hummingbird, to know that she isn't broken anymore. And she took knife throwing lessons from Elena. Awesome. Spoiler. Don't care. Brilliant. So, girl power. Um, and up with both Ilium and Odin were like, wow. <laughs> okay, why is that happening? So, it was really well written. Um, I'm glad that she fit everything in, but without making it sound rushed, which was great. Because, unfortunately, you do get some books where they kind of quickly wrap up and then they end it and then that's it. And it's a bit like, oh, really so but this was really well paced really well done um i was really gutted with the loss of the legion so i'm just you know i'm hoping after everything they did um that they get to come back at some point so um you know and it was really it was quite heartbreaking to read i actually bawled my eyes out when i read it and not many books do that to me so yeah, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. It's really well written, really well done. Everything's well paced. They, you know, they've done excellent with spelling checks as well as some gra most of the grammar checks. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And once I finish reviewing another series and going through one or two priority books, this is just going to be my casual book. I would have literally put this review on a few days ago, but it's just been really busy. I just couldn't put it down. I literally finished it within 48 hours. So this is the first chance I've got to actually review it. And I got it the day before it came out. So, but I loved it. And I would definitely recommend for you guys to give it a read. As I stated before in pretty much everything else that's a series, do not just skip the entire series and read the end. Don't be one of those people. Why would you be one of those people? Okay. So read the entirety of the series, then read this book, and then you will understand what every single character goes through. Okay. So I'm going to give this a ZJ, ZG book it and read, uh, scoring of 10 out of 10. Yes, I know, I know. I've done that a few times here and there, but it is so good. It really is. And I think you'll be doing yourself a disservice not reading this, all right? This stuff is better than sliced bread, okay? You know, okay, you can eat sliced bread, but you know, whatever. So read it, love it. <laughs> and obviously, once you've read it, if you want to discuss it, or anything like that i'm open to you guys having a chat with me okay so um i love you guys i'll see you later um and i'll be doing another book for the bewitched and bewildered series next see you guys bye